What is ultimate success? The definition of success that we use is the achievement or attainment of a predetermined goal or outcome, right? So when you think about just success from that level, and success was other things before, success also meant to overthrow, right? To overthrow, like like back in the day, it was like overthrow the throne. Like you you succeeded the last king. You overthrew the last king. You took over that spot. That's success, right? Think about that. When's the last time when you really took a look at it that you actually had a big success? I'm going to talk about the random success where you just woke up. Yeah, well, I guess that was a success. Let's just call it a success. That's average thinking. That's not 10 to 1 thinking. 10 to 1 thinking means like, hey, I did 10 times the work of the average person and I succeeded at this thing, this big thing. I want you to start thinking like that. You cannot have ultimate success with average thinking. It just doesn't work. The two don't go together. You can have ultimate success with ultimate thinking, right? Great thinking, big goals, goals that excite you, goals that almost scare you. They scare everybody else around you that's not thinking like that. You'll know when your goals are too big, when you tell somebody you feel stupid and they feel small and they go, well, what if it doesn't? They start throwing what ifs at you, softies at you, telling you that maybe, well, don't think too big because if you fail, like... That's how you know you're on the right path of the 10 to 1 thinking as it relates to moving towards the success that you really want. And I'll go over later in a different chapter exactly how to set those things up, what it is that you're looking for, what you need to be focused on, and why you have to almost be obsessive about wanting those things. Actually, I'll take that back. You have to be obsessive about it, not almost. Again, that was me not wanting I I can't tone it down for you in this book. I need to give you 100% of everything I got, man, because if not, you won't get it. (laughs) because I didn't get it. I needed it, right? So this came about when Sharon and I were sitting at the table saying, hey, look, we actually do the work of 10 people. One of us does the work of 10 people, so the two of us together is about 20 people knocking stuff out. We've actually hired people and they've quit. We've hired people and they've needed breaks. We've hired people and they've wanted to walk off because in their head, they weren't 10 to oneers. Our environment was tough for them because this is how we think. Because we don't think on just average. We think in ultimate success, right? We know that. And let me make this plain for you. Success, I look at success like survival, right? We've all heard survival of the fittest. I think I said it already, right? But when we think about success, man, I'm going to keep saying success. I'm going to keep saying survival. I'm going to mix those things up because I want you to intertwine success and survival with the same thing. And I'm not talking about base level survival, necessity level survival. That's what other people think. I don't want you to think like that. I want you to think along the lines of saying, hey, survival for me is ultimate survival. I want to live forever. (laughs) I want want immortality. When I die, I want shrines. I want towers to be built for me. I want books. I want all the things. I want all my properties that have my names on them, properties that have my kids' names on them. I want my kids to be able to look back and say, this is what our dad did. I want my great, great, great grandkids to be able to look and say that our great, great, great grandfather did this so we had a way. I want your family to take a look and say, man, thank God this guy had the fortitude a hundred years ago to create this stuff because this stuff has helped me to this day. That, my friends, is immortality. That is immortal survival. That is ultimate success. And I want you to start thinking like that. That is not going to happen if you're average. Graveyards are full of average people who, yes, they contributed to the world, but they're dead. We don't know them. Do you want that for your life? Is that what you thought you were going to be when you were a kid growing up playing in the yard that you weren't going to be great? I can promise you, if you're listening to this, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. You wanted to be great. At some point, you might have lost it on the way. But man, I'm here to give it back to you. You are a man or a woman that is, has unlimited, unlimited energy, power. No one can take that from you unless you let them. It is your responsibility, which we'll go over, to be, to be successful. It is your ethical obligation. You need to make it an ethical, moral situation for you to be successful, to actually succeed, to overcome any and all obstacles and challenges leading to whatever your goals are. And that won't happen if they're small. You got to tend to one your goals. You got to make them big, big, exciting. Think bigger. The only time I've ever lost in my life is because I was thinking small. 
And the work was so hard that by the time I actually got it, it wasn't worth the win. And then when it was time for me to do it again, I didn't want to do it anymore because the work was so much. Because like I said, that's my skill. 10 to 1 in it. You tend to want something small and you'll get to the top and go, man, it wasn't worth this little small hill that I climbed. I'm better off climbing a mountain with all the work that's necessary to get to the top anyways. If you're going to win, win. If you're going to succeed, get ultimate success. If you're going to survive, have ultimate survival, immortality in your survival tone. That's what I want for you guys. Man, if I can just convince you, sell you on this idea, just one thing. That it is so required. And I'm going to go through exactly what level, how you're going to have to play your success, how I want you to see success, why I'm taking it to this level. Because realistically, at some point, I want you guys to work with me. I want to be in your mind. I want to be your mentor. I want to be your coach. I want to be the person that brings all of this full circle for you and for, for your family, for the people that you're, you're responsible for or will be responsible for in the future. This is my goal. This is my, my, my purpose for doing this stuff. It's to sell you on the idea that success, your success, needs to be executed so it becomes ultimate. And this 10 to 1 law is exactly how you go about doing it.